I've got one lure in this box that you probably aren't using, and you should be. Welcome to Anthony's Outdoors, and in today's episode, I want to talk to you about my favorite lure to use during cold front conditions while targeting pike. Cold fronts and early spring snowstorms can be a real bummer for pike fishermen. The ice has come off the lakes, the pike have moved into the shallow bays, you've had a string of really nice days, you got your new rods and reels all rigged up, you wake up to go to the lake, and you're greeted by this. Now most fishermen would call it quits before they even leave the house, but I've got a one lure in this box here that I'm telling you will make it worthwhile while fishing during nasty cold fronts. The Rapala Ripstop. Now this isn't a brand that's been around for a long time, but it has been out for a couple years, and it's dynamite in cold front conditions. Before I go any further, just wanna go ahead and say, full disclosure, I am not being sponsored or paid by any company or any vendor of Rapala to hawk these lures. Uh, we haven't received any lures from anybody as a gift or anything like that. Everything that you see on our channel, we have bought and paid for with our own money. And we like to keep it that way because that way we can give full, honest opinions on the gear that we use and uh, there's no uh, bias being put into it. Now you're probably wondering, all right, what makes this lure so great in cold front conditions? And I'll tell you what it is. It's this right here, if I can get the camera to focus. It's the back end, the tail. It's got a little lip there. Now, that lip, what that is designed to do is when you're jerking this bait along, it stops dead in the water. There's no trailing action when you give that rod the jerk. It doesn't trail along in the water for a while and slow down to a stop. It just dead stops. Um, awesome bait. That action triggers even the laziest of pike followers and turns them into biters. Now, this lure, it comes in two different sizes. This right here that I'm demonstrating as it sticks into my finger. <laughs> this is the five inch model or the four and three quarter inch model. Um, depending on what site you look at, they label them slightly different, but it's about a five inch style jerk bait. And then they also come in a three and a half inch. And in springtime, this three and a half inch is absolute dynamite for just about everything that swims will hit this thing. We've had perch come up and smash this thing. One thing to keep in note while fishing with the Rapala Ripstop is the hooks. Now, in springtime, a lot of the fish you're gonna be targeting and catching are gonna be small males, but you may run into the occasion where you run into that big female that's done spawning and she's looking for a meal. But that being said, these hooks are pretty thin. Um, they're, they're designed to be lightweight so that this lure suspends in the water and isn't naturally sinking. So, if the hooks get bent and if that bothers you, you can upgrade the hooks, no problem to a heavier set. Just be advised that that will cause the lure to lose its natural buoyancy or neutral buoyancy and end up sinking and running a lot deeper. That might uh, work for some fishermen, I don't particularly like a lure that naturally slowly sinks. I prefer it to stay suspended. That's one of the attributes of what makes this lure so deadly. So just keep that in mind when you're, you know, out fishing with the Rapala Ripstop, check your hooks. Now I know I'm gonna get the question, can you use this lure during all times of the year or during all types of weather conditions? And the answer is absolutely. This lure has caught tons of fish uh, in our boat and we just tend to find it be most effective during cold fronts. When the water is warm or when you've got good conditions, uh, we found better success with using stuff like MEP spinners or uh, daredevil spoons, things like that, um, that move a little bit faster in the water column. Whereas when that cold front hits, the fish slow down, the water temperatures drop a little bit, and the fish are a little bit more lethargic and less apt to chase down fast moving baits. And that's where this bad boy comes into play. So yes, you can use this lure any time of the year. Just know that I believe this lure is best suited for cold front fishing or when that water temperature has really dropped down. I hope you like what you saw in this video. If you wanna see more of our gear and our lures that we use on our spring pike trips, click on the video that's right here. And if you wanna see the full episodes, the long trips, when we go up north and we catch hundreds of pike, 
click on the playlist right here. If you found the information in this video helpful, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that bell notification so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and our Facebook page. And as always, thanks for watching.